KZWA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Daily Dose. It is your daily podcast here from KZWA of trending topics, clickable moments, and pop culture events with your boy. That's right, the Shogun. Kiss my converse. Latone Hart and TC, your girl, straight out of KZWA. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> straight out of KZWA. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> Boy, you just, you don't have no love for New Orleans. Master P and them would be mad at you. You know what? I love my city. Shout out to that Nola, baby. All right. You're supposed to be like, how you do that, that? <laughs> okay. We don't care. Mm, you supposed stop. to be on that, what, what y'all, that bounce music y'all do? Yeah, bouncy, bickety, bouncy, bickety, bouncy, bickety, bouncy, bouncy, bickety, bickety. <laughs> the home of twerking. Yes, and? Is that a problem? No, it's just kind of funny how it went national and no one gives New Orleans credit for it. You know what? Like, what's that dude? What's that dude? Uh, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. Now, come on. Who is that? What's come his, on. What's come the singer? On. Come on. Who's singing that? Uh, oh. oh, I can't even think about it. Get it ready, get it ready. It's Dobie D or some, no. some weird name oh like that. Oh, my gosh. I feel so ashamed that I can't think of that right now. Anyway, what do you got for us today? Today is Adam Sandler's birthday. The comedian turns 49. Adam Sandler's 49. I knew we were, like, in the same age group, but I didn't know he was almost 50. Yo, he's made some good movies and some awesome. terrible movies. What movie was terrible? More, I mean, that Click was terrible. <gasps> I love Click. Like uh, the, the one where he was a little devil and he was the devil's son. Uh, little Nicky. Little N- How can you? Well, okay, you need to stop. He's made some Why are you duds. hating? You really hate him. I mean, him. but um, Happy Madison, that was great. And uh, 41st no, Dates was it good. Was, it was Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, yeah. But, uh... B- something Madison. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Those like some of his movies have been really good. I really love. And him. I like Grown Ups. Grown Ups was fun. Gr- Grown Ups two wasn't as funny as Grown Ups. No, but whatever. but he's uh, he's had some duds. There's a, there's about four or five Adam Sandler movies. Like why? Did, what was the movie where he had a son and his son was like twenty and it was recent and it had him and that Adam Sandberg was in it. It was Adam Sandler and Adam Sandberg. That movie was. Cool. And it's a recent movie. Yeah, it came out like 2010. I would say Adam Sandler movies are kind of hit and miss. The Longest Yard, they could have kept that. No, I love all his movies. Shout out to Adam Sandler. One of my favorite actors. Really? Adam Sandler is an actor. Yes. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't deal with you. Today is also Tanya Condal's birthday. That's my mommy. Happy birthday, mom. (laughs) What up, what up, up, little little Woody? Little Woody. Well, I'm not a little woldy here, man. What a big woldy. <laughs> Bitch, she ain't no big woldy. <laughs> well, you said she ain't little. I'm, I don't know how to help. She's not a woldy. She's a woman. And that's my mommy. And I love you, mom. Anyways. What a little cutie. <laughs> little cutie. Today is also National Teddy Bear Day. Everybody grab your teddy bears. Now hug them and love them. Teddy bears. <laughs> I took my daughter to like this teddy bear place in the mall. Build, Build a bear. bear. I used to have those. It is irrational and insane no, but that a teddy to, bear can cost anybody more than $19. But you get to record a voice and put it into the bear and it can say whatever you want it to say. Yeah, say but, overpriced. And you get to stuff it yourself. You can't beat that. You get to pick out the little clothes for it and just love it for all the love. You know what? Over $20 for a teddy bear is ridiculous. I forgot how much I paid for that. I bought it when I was in like like, like 60 and $70 for See, that build a bear. Yeah. I don't think that was that high when I got it, when I was that age. I know my told my daughter, uh, we're going to go to build a gas station and get you one of them little bears in the front for like $5.99. We're going to go to, you know, the little places off the side of the highway that sell the, yeah. we're going to go there and get you a bear. Why are you trying to cheapskate? Uh-uh. It is a, a, it is a stuffed animal. That's like saying about brands. It's like about the brand, too. Like, you want her to have the best of the best. Like, you're not going to buy her a Walmart watch. You're going to buy her a Michael Kors yeah, watch. I'm, I'm, the, the brand is the trick. <laughs> all, all you but need that's is what the, she wants. All you need is the utility. You don't need the brand. You know what? Yeah. Whatever. Y'all send us pictures of y'all teddy bears at KZWA on Facebook. No, send us a picture of the man you snuggled up with who's your teddy bear. <laughs> send us a picture of Sugar Bear if you got one of him. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the, the cereal box. Okay, random question. What movies make you cry every time you see them? Oh, man. You really want to do this to me? Yep. John Q. You know what? That got me. When Never Denzel got me. at the end says he, he could take mine and he put the gun to his head, I don't like to watch it. I know. I want to cry right now. <laughs> There's a movie where Usher, they were trapped in a school. You remember that movie? Um, I think it came on BET the other day. 
they were trapped in a school and Forrest Whitaker was like the what was it called, oh, man? Oh, I think that just came on BET the and other day. Usher's dad had died. And and the guy said, What was your dad saying? And my father had just died. And I saw that and that movie still makes me cry. Really? Yeah. You know what movie gets me? The notebook. Every time <laughs> in the vow. I like Rachel McAdams. She's my favorite actress. I love all her movies. Have you ever seen the movie Rudy? Mm -mm. I don't think there's a lot of men who played sports who watched the movie Rudy that don't cry or try to fight tears at the end where Rudy wants to play and everybody on the team says he can take my jersey. Like all the team was like, no, here, I don't need to play coach. Rudy needs to play. It's, it's hard for any man who played sports to watch Rudy and not cry. And you know what other movie makes me cry? What? Mulan. At the end, when she saves everybody, and her dad, she thought she was gonna be a disgrace, and her daddy was like, no, and, and the emperor was like, no, and she went against all those odds and still overcame. You know what movie really makes me cry all the time, and I, I love it, it's a great movie. You ever seen Braveheart with Mel Gibson? Mm-mm. Well, he refused, there was a law where the king, before you could marry a woman, mm -hmm. the king had to sleep with her. You could marry a woman after the king slept with Are her. Are you serious? Basically, the word F-U-C-K stands for fornication under consent of the king. Wow. That's a whole nother story, but this was a real law. So the king had to sleep with the woman you wanted to marry before you could marry her. Mm -hmm. Well, William Wallace, Braveheart, didn't want to share his wife. So he eloped and married her in secret. When they found out, they captured his wife and killed her in front of him. <gasps> and there's a point after that point in the movie, it's a pro. He kills everybody he can. Oh, I love it. And he comes down to, when he sees her get killed, he comes down the hill and like he's just tearing up. And I mean, he finds the, the dude that raped her and he just, that part always makes me cry. Cause I I'm mean, watch he, I opened, he opened a complete can of beat ass for the rest of the movie for them killing that woman that he refused to share with anybody else. And it's just romantically violent. You know what? I'm going to watch that. Is that on Netflix for oh, real? Oh, Braveheart? Won an Academy Award. It's on, Yeah, it's on Netflix. I'm going to watch you that. You never watched Braveheart? I don't think I did. Yeah, when they, when they killed... I'm a movie head, too. When they killed his wife, it's... it's I, every time I watch that movie, I was like, that was the worst thing y'all could have done. Y'all could have beat his daddy, but once you killed the woman that he refused it, he just went nuts, man. Oh, I love that. And I get a, I get, I get a little misty. <laughs> it's like, I understand that, man. I understand that. You don't got to share, share your boo with nobody, homie. Kill him. I mean, once you marry her, you have to let him sleep. So why not? Why not just no, be with her? The rule was England. The English were basically occupying Scotland, and the English don't like Scots. So basically, the whole point was for them to impregnate all the Scottish women with English blood. So you got rid of the Scots. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it was it was basically genocide through fornication. Okay. So, and he just didn't. He didn't, he wasn't with it. He was yeah. like, no, this is my wife. This is my woman. And, and they put her on a tree and slit her throat. Oh. And he saw it. He came down there. I mean, for the rest of the movie, it is it is whoop, 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 kill, murder, maim, yeah. everybody who did the... I don't know why I like movies like that with that violent behavior. Because <laughs> you like men. I guess. Men are violent. Rumor alert. Rumor alert. Uh, please don't be Kylie Jenner or anything. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Amber Rose broke it off with Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly from Cleveland. Yeah, I love Amber Rose. You don't understand. I had higher hopes for Machine Gun Kelly. I thought he was gonna be, thought he was gonna be the man, man. But he kind of fell off. So guess who she's been rumored to talk to now? Oh, please tell me who. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. Hey, upgrade. Upgrade. LSU, New York Giants. You know what? Fantasy football number one receiver, ODB. Yeah, he cute or whatever. Ain't he from around your way? I don't know. He's from Baton Rouge or I something know he like that. He's from LSU. That's all I know. He from he from he from the boot. From the boot, yeah. You don't like Emma Rose? You don't think she the baddest walking no. this earth? Only white chick I really like from Philadelphia is Pink. But she not really like white. Yes, yeah, she is, hundred percent. But she not like. Oh, really? <laughs> her father and her mother aren't really white. But she. She has a bald head. Have you seen the pictures of her without her bald head? Yeah. Okay. She looks like Fergie. <laughs> don't do Amber. Don't do her. I won't. Anyways, I have a question for you. It's yeah. not my girly trivia either. <laughs> I love girly trivia. Because I've, I've been pretty dominant at girly trivia. 
I guess. I've been winning. Because I've been going easy on you. Well, don't, don't go easy. I can take it. You sure? <laughs> I can take you it. You sure? I can take it. But anyways, is knowing better than not knowing? Um, Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, but I mean, like, let's say your girl cheating on you. And then you like, man, should I go through her phone and actually find out that she cheating? Or should I just let her be and just, you know, whatever? I would say knowing, not knowing is better because you'll find evidence for whatever you believe in. So if you believe there's a snake over there in the parking lot, you'll go outside and you'll find all types of evidence for it, even if it's not there. It's just the nature of, of our minds to be afraid and fearful and suspicious. So what you going to do, just ignore it? Just, just like, avoid it? I don't want to know. There's a song, Mario Wimp. I don't want to know, know. <laughs> if you're playing. No, because, I mean, if she's cheating on me, I, I don't want her to cheat on me. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit around and worry about it. If you're cheating on me, eventually it'll create problems in the relationship. It'll end. But I don't want to sit around and obsess about it. I have a job. I have children. I have goals. There's books I want to read. There's things I want to accomplish. I don't want to sit around and obsess about not what you're obsessed, doing. obsess, but like, is it better to like, no. You know what I mean? Like, you're not curious I, to just kind of uh, like. I'll find out eventually. So whatever's nope. done in the dark comes to light? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, that's true. So, I, I mean, why waste energy on it? I know, but I just be wanting to know because yeah, I'm just so nosy. I'm just, what, what's going on? Let me, let me, let me look through your email. Let me see. Anything you give energy to will grow. So, if suspicion, it'll grow. You know, hatred, it'll grow. I don't give en I try not to give energy to stuff that's negative. Let me give it to positive so I can improve myself. True, true. But that's all for today, folks. That I didn't get. There was no girly <laughs> trivia. I don't want to give you my girly trivia because I don't want to embarrass you on the podcast. No, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm I'm disappointed. Where where is the girly trivia? <laughs> you want girly trivia? There's no girly. I, I, I've I've come to the point where I wake up in the morning. I, I've watched like a little bit of Lifetime every day. I feel like you watch the View a little bit. A little bit. You turn on Mean bit. Girls and watch a little bit of. I haven't mean watched Girls. that yet, but I have been keeping my little View on, and I'll flip it on Lifetime or the Oprah Network. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've been Let trying, me ask you. trying to stay on up Wednesdays, on Wednesdays. What, what color do we wear? On Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, but if, if you if you know girls, then you know on Wednesdays Wait, what color do we wear? Uh, girls wear a certain color on Wednesdays. This has to do in reference to a movie, but really? it's just it. You on have, Wednesdays, you have to know. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. There we go. I did that's not know that. That's that was a good guess. Well, okay, explain, explain, explain that to me. On Mean Girls, on Wednesdays, that's what they wore. It's pink. Really? Yes. And she said on Wednesdays, we wear pink. You can't wear any other color. You have to wear pink. So you're saying we have a bunch of girls who are blind followers that saw something in a movie and now they're doing it. I need to make a so movie. What's today? I don't, is that pink? This is definitely pink. Well, you know, they say men, we don't see as many colors as women. Oh my gosh. That looks kind of peach or tan to me. Oh, well then you know colors. No, but this is like coral. So it's technically pink. What the hell is coral? It's like pink. <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah, like... but that's true. They say women see like thir for every seven colors a man sees, women see fifteen. That's you guys right. just have better. That's why I thought you would have just said this was pink. It's. I can't even really describe what that color that is. But it's not pink to me. I'm wearing pink, guys. I'll post a picture of my shirt so y'all can see. It basically <laughs> looks like you washed and dried it too much. Uh, this is my second time wearing this shirt. It looks like it's faded or come from the thrift shop. Actually, I bought this one uh, at Forever 21. <laughs> Yeah. It's pink. The 20, 21 washes and dries before I you got it. I wore this shirt two times. I'll post a picture for you guys so y'all can see my pink. But hand on Wednesdays, me down. Oh, I got a lot of hand me downs growing up though, for real. <laughs> playing no games. This has been the Daily Dose. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at KZWA1049. You can also find us on our website. KZWAFM.com. Yes, and we love you for checking out the podcast on Spreaker, Stitcher, I know we're on TuneIn, iTunes, and, everywhere you listen to podcasts. And y'all make sure y'all go check out the LaGrange Homecoming Parade pictures on the website. And we went view them today. How was that today? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it Little was, kitties are running around. It was amazing. I mean, I got about four or five Tootsie Rolls. And I realized that school uniforms are more provocative than the regular clothes the kids would wear. Yeah, it's like, like if you have baggy school clothes, then you're not cool. I mean, these girls are wearing 
bicycle short type pants to school. <laughs> I understand why brothers aren't learning anything. I, I couldn't pay attention in class when girls are walking around in pants but disguised as that, epidermis. But the fact that the parents let them come outside like that. But I mean, around. skin tight. Skin tight. <laughs> but LaGrange is our team of the week this week, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in and Go check Gators. out. Yeah, purple, purple, purple. Go Gators. So thank y'all for listening. This is TC. And Latone with the Daily Dose.